Twister mushrooms also grow out in really nice clusters. You usually get a nice cluster of anywhere from 20 to 50 mushrooms that grow out kind of like a bouquet. And that's always a, an, eye, an eye catcher and it's you know, great for the markets or any, any clients that look at it. They're definitely amazed. Of the bag, so it's a full white block. It's also very dense. The mycelium has really pulled all the sawdust and all the materials in this block together very tightly. So you just uh, you can just feel it after after a while of doing it. You'll look at a block and you know, you'll just feel that it's ready to go in, and these oysters are ready to go. So yeah, I just look for full colonization. I don't want to see uh, just big spots of uh, sawdust in my bags. Anything that's uncolonized by the mycelium will basically be at risk for once you put it in the grow room for con being contaminated. Let's say it was just like half colonized right here. Um, I've seen some people will, will flip the bag upside down or, or just make a cut where the, where the mycelium is grown. But you do have risk because you're going to basically allow air into the block. And let's say there's an area right here, half the block's not colonized. Uh, then you can get like a bacteria or some kind of mold can grow basically on your substrate, hindering the growth of your mycelium and also taking away from your yields in the long run and possibly even cross-contaminating something else in your, in your operation. So it's always wise, you know, with mushrooms just to be patient and to wait because, you know, you've already gotten this far. Might as well wait a little bit longer. I'll show you guys when I go in there, but the mushrooms do get very big and you, they do are, they tend to be at risk for falling off the shelves. Uh, just because they're so big, the blocks can just knock right off. At this stage, this is our fully colonized block. It's colonized with mushroom mycelium. So the mushroom mycelium is actually the oldest part of the organism. It lives for the longest period of time. The mushroom, it only appears for about a week and then it dies. Its purpose is to generally uh, continue the life cycle, produce the spores that are going to be used to keep the mycelium alive, keep the genetic lineage going.